What I learned it is not as easy as you think. I realize one gear is so damn expensive. Um, and especially at a time like this, it's very expensive. So um, I'm slowly building little pieces that help. I've gotten a larger monitor uh, to help because I'm doing solo shooting. And now I'm working on lights, which is a whole new learning perspective. Um, but now there's different lenses options, more lighting options, different types of audio, overhead lighting, boom mic in. There's just too much to understand. Um, but yes, it, there's so much to editing that you don't think, I don't think many people know. I mean, you can film great, but then you take it to your computer and now what? Is your sound good? Does your sound match up? Can you put audio to your video? Is your audio too loud? What decibel should it be at? Um, does it match? Are you using a cross dissolve? Like it's just, it is very difficult. It is like learning a martial art. There is definitely levels to it and I am a beginner. Get good rotation. Getting better. I think it's like anything, practice. If you don't practice, you don't get better. Um, and I think the key is breaking Danny's balls. Um, if you don't break Danny balls, I'll never learn. So um, I always use, hey man, you wanna offer some training for some video help? But uh, if you don't ask questions, you'll, you'll never learn. So every video that I film, goes to Danny for review, he gives me feedback, I ask questions, I'm critical on myself, um, and then I'm trying to get better videos, and you can see them getting better, um, but it also, how am I in the video? I've never edited my own videos, and you realize you suck at a lot of things. Am I talking too much with my hands? I'm foaming at the mouth sometimes, I don't even know, and all of a sudden all the saliva's coming out, I have something in my eye. <laughs> you sweat after, you, you put in you real sweat, effort. The hardest part is because I'm not warmed up, Yeah. and then I want to get over the videos, yeah. so then it's like, <gasps> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> So I sound like I'm really out of shape. Well, you're actually putting in work, that's I'm putting in work. You're doing how they're supposed to And I'm not to warmed up. Yeah. If I was warmed up, it'd be different. I hope anyways. It's become a side project and learning thing for me, which has become fun. Um, being around Glory, my job is to, you know, be part of the videos, but then I see Danny, Damien, Dennis, and all the boys working. I mean, it just sparks my interest hearing them talk about all these acronyms and numbers, and they're all in sync and the videos they produce. So just hearing it made me want to get into it a little bit more and it's been fun. It's frustrating, it's fun, I'm learning, I'm trying to master it like any other skill. And I think now that I have the time, it was the perfect time to learn a little bit more. Power round kick, you see my leg? A little bit more strength, which gives me the power like that baseball bat. But the snap kick comes from that chamber and return. So the power, the impact isn't going through the target, it's meeting the target. So it's almost like slap in return. My job was to knock people out in the ring, which was fun. I still like to do that. But now my job is to be a coach, to be, um, I don't know, I wanted, I love kickboxing and it's a way of me sharing it. I was a teacher teaching high school for 10 years. So I do have a passion for teaching, learning, and this is one way to do it. And it helps my gym, it brings more eyes to bazooka kickboxing, my style. My ultimate goal is to be a UFC coach, obviously. So this just shows people my information and it just builds uh, the sport I've given my life to. And two minutes left. All right. Bop. Finito. I just think when people watch fighting, it's funny because the quote always stands true. When you watch someone for the first time, it looks very simple. So when you see someone fighting, like, I could fight, it's so damn easy. Then when all of a sudden you practice it, you do it, you're like, man, this is really, really difficult. And then when you master it, it just looks like fighting. That's the Bruce Lee quote. Uh, when you first learn an art, a punch is a punch, a kick is a kick. As you learn the art, um, a kick is no longer a kick, a punch is no longer a kick. But when you master the art, a kick is a kick and a punch is a punch. So it's understanding the learning process and going through it. And I wanna make it easy for people to learn so it's less stressful and they can, do martial arts and I think everyone in life needs to have a little bit more martial arts. And that's a wrap my friends. See you next week. Ooh,
it's hot in here. Man, what am I gonna do with all this stuff? Jeez. Mm, mm, my first thing. Oh. If you guys are liking all the merch I'm wearing in the videos, head over to bazookashop.com and you can look as tough and as cool as I do. We got hats, we got sweaters, we got t-shirts, we got everything for your needs. Bazookashop.com